어, 2013년 정말 제가 부푼 꿈을 가지고 맞는 새해입니다. 어, 2012년 여러 가지 어려운 일들이 많았지만 어, 10대 뉴스에 본 것처럼 하나님 우리 속에 참 많은 일을 하셨습니다. 그리고 그 외에도 개인적으로 제가 많은 사람 복음을 전할 수 있었는데요. 많은 분들이 개인 전도로 된 구원을 받았습니다. 그리고 사람들이 삶이 바뀌는 걸볼때 너무 감사했습니다. 하나님만이 하실 수 있는 일을 우리 같이 천한 인간들을 통해 일하시는 하나님께 너무 놀랍게 영광과 경배를 돌립니다. You know, God who works through low people like us, I truly honor Him and glorify Him. 하나님 하신 일 가장 위대한 일이 무엇이었습니까? But what is the most amazing thing that God has done? 예수님을 보내셔서 He sent Jesus. 우리를 죄에서 구원한 위대한 일이었습니다. And the amazing thing of saving us from sin. 하나님 그 일을 하실 때 천사를 사용하지 않고 우리를 들어 쓰신다는 그 면이 너무 놀랍습니다. And to do that work, God does not use His angels, but He uses us. That's so amazing. 저는 처음에 압곡동에 있을 때 제가 복음을 구원받은 한 부인이 있었습니다. Gospel, 그 부인은 굉장히 가난한 이렇게 부인이었는데. Very, very 근데 이제 그날 구원을 받았습니다. 그 그날부터 그 부인 자매가 변하기 시작하는 걸 봤습니다. On, 그 자매가 기도를 하면 귀신들이 떠나가고 pray, 병든 자들이 나왔고 그 자매 복음을 잘 구원받는 사람들이 많습니다. And many people receive salvation through her preaching the gospel. 특히 우리가 지금 수원에 사역하고 있는 박희진 목사님은, especially Pastor Park Hee-jin, who is now ministering in Suwon, 폐결핵으로 거의 죽어가는 위치에 있다 그 자매님을 만났어요. You know, he was on the verge of death because of uh, tuberculosis. Then he met this sister. 그래서 하나님은 기도를 그 박희진 목사님 그 당시에 병이 나았고, and through the prayers and through the grace of God, Pastor Park Hee-jin became healed. 구원을 받아서, and he received salvation. 귀한 하나님의 종으로 복음을 위해서 일하고 있습니다. And he is now working as a precious servant of the gospel for the Lord. 여러분 우리 같은 인간들 속에 하나님이 일을 하셔서 Everyone God works in people like us. 멸망을 받을 영원한 저주를 받을 그 영혼을 구원해서 하나님의 자녀로 삼은 이 일이 얼마나 영광스럽고 복된 것인지 말로 다할 수 없습니다. To lead souls who are to be destroyed, to be saved, to become children of God, what glory and what blessing this is. 오늘 2013년을 맞이하며 성경 로마서 4장 19절 말씀을 읽겠습니다. As you face 2013, let us look at the words of Romans chapter 4, verse 19. 로마서 4장 19절. Romans chapter 4, verse 19. 다 같이 읽겠습니다. We we'll read it aloud together. 4장 19절 chapter, 읽겠습니다. Chapter 4, 19. 그가 백세나 되어 자기 몸의 주운 같은과 사라의 대주운 같은을 알고도 믿음이 약하여 지지 아니하. 아브라함은 처음부터 이런 믿음을 가진 사람은 아니었습니다. Abraham did not have this kind of faith to begin with. 하나님이 아브라함에게 약속을 했습니다. But God made the promise to Abraham. 내가 하늘의 별처럼 네 자손을 많게 하리라. Like the stars of the sky, I will make your children many. 네 씨를 통해서 정말 천하 만민이 복을 얻으리라. Through your seed, all the people of the lands will be blessed. 하나님이 아브라함에게 그런 약속을 했어. And that was the promise that God made to Abraham. 그 아브라함이 그 약속을 받고 너무 기뻐서 본토 친척 집을 떠나 가나안으로 왔습니다. And Abraham received that blessing. He was so happy, and he left his father's house and went to the land of Canaan. 아브라함이 그 하나님의 약속을 받았는데 75세였는데. And when he received that promise of God, Abraham was 75 years old. 아브라함은 하나님의 아들을 주실 줄 알고 기다렸습니다. And he waited, thinking that God was going to give him a son. 10년이 지나도 아들을 낳지 못했어. Even though 10 years passed, he couldn't have a son. 그때 이제 아브라함은 생각합니다. 아, 하나님의 아들을 주고 이제 뿌리는가? But now Abraham begins to think, Did God forget about giving me a son? 내가 아들 못 낳는 건 아니야? Maybe I won't have a son. 그때 이제 아브라함의 사라가 말합니다. But right then, uh, Sarah says to Abraham, 뭐라고 말하면, 저 우리 집에 있는 그 개집종 하갈, 저자하고 당이 동침하면 아기를 쉽게 낳을 것 같다고. You know, I think if you sleep with our handmaiden Hagar, then we can have a child. 아브라함은 하나님의 약속보다도 인간적인 생각에 더 마음이 많이 뺏겨. 
Rather than the promise of God, Abraham lost his heart more to the humanistic ways of man. Ah, 하나님이 아들 준다 그랬는데. Oh, God promised that He would give us a son. 내 안에 사람 너무 늙었어. But my wife Sarah is too old. 이제 아기 낳는 건 불가능해. Now it's impossible for her to have a child. 그러면 내가 그 하갈 저 계집종을 키해서라도 아들 낳아야 하지 않을까? Then shouldn't I then at least take Hagar and have a baby through her? 그건 어떤 정편을 본 인간에게 나온 생각입니다. But these are the thoughts that come from people who look at circumstances. 아, 아브라함은 그 하갈을 통해서 이스마엘을 And so Abraham had Ishmael through Hagar. 이제 근데 그리고 난 뒤에 14년이 지났습니다. And then after that, 14 years passed. 아브라함이 99세 때. When Abraham was 99. 하나님이 아브라함에게 나타나십니다. God appeared to Abraham. 네 아내 이름을 사리라고 하지 말고 사라라고 해라. Do not call your wife's name Sarah. I call her Sarah. 그가 네게 아들을 낳아 주리라. And she will bear you a son. 아브라함 깜짝 놀랐습니다. And Abraham was shocked. 아니 내가 14년 전에 아기를 못 낳을 것 같아서 하갈도 이스마엘을 낳았는데. 14 years ago I didn't think that I could have a baby so I had a child. 내가 이렇게 늙어도 어떻게 내가 아기를 낳아? You know that how could we have a child now? 아브라함 웃었습니다. Abraham laughed. 100세된 사람 어떻게 자식을 낳아? How could a hundred year old have a child? 사라는 90세인데. And Sarah is 90. 말도 안 돼. This is nonsense. 여러분 아브라함은 형편을 보내 절대 아기를 낳을 수 없을 것처럼 보였어요. When Abraham looked at the circumstances, it looked like he could never have a child. 여러분 성경 이런 이야기를 읽어보면 너무 너무 놀라운 것이. No, when we read these things in the Bible, it's so amazing. 여러분 아브라함만 그리고 우리도 그렇습니다. Not only with Abraham, but also with us. 우리가 하나님을 믿지만, although we believe in God, 인간적으로 가능한 것을 믿기는 쉽지만, it's easy to believe in things that are humanistically possible. 인간적으로 불가능하게 보이는 일들을 믿지 못하지. But we are unable to believe in things that are humanistically impossible. 거기서 우리 대부분 사람 믿음에 문제가 생기는 거예요. And that is how where most people run into problems with faith. 그러나 여러분 하나님은 우리 인간이 아니십니다. But God, He is not human like us. 하나님 아신다면 백 세만 어떻고 오백 세만 어떻습니까? If God's gonna do it, so what if He's a hundred? So what if He's five hundred? 여러분 저도 제가 신앙생활 가장 어려웠던 게 뭐냐면 Even in me, what was the most important difficult thing in my faith? 분명히 하나님의 약속이지만 Surely God promised. 내 인간의 눈으로 볼 때. You know, but when I look it through the eyes of man. 내 인간의 방법으로 볼 때. When I look it through the ways of man. 그게 절대 불가능 것처럼 보였습니다. Things looked completely impossible. 어떻게 그게 가능해? How could this be possible? 그래서 여러분 저는 정말 제가 이건 안될 거라고 생각을 했어요. And so I would think, no way. This can never be done. 하나님은 우리를 너무 잘 알고 계셔서. But God, He knows us very well. 그래서 아브라함의 이야기 여기다 기록한 것입니다. And that's why He recorded these words about Abraham. 그런 아브라함에게. To Abraham, who's like this. 하나님 어떤 일을 하시기 시작했어요. God began to work inside of this Abraham. 아브라함이 자기가 볼 때. Abraham, in his own eyes. 내 안에 사람 너무 늙었어. Ah, my wife is too old. 나도 늙었어. I'm too old. 이 아기 낳는 게 불가능해. It's impossible to have a child. 이제 사라의 경수는 끊어졌어. Now it ceased to be with the manner of women. 인간적인 생각만 가지고 불가능하다고 생각하는 아브라함에게. Abraham with this humanistic vision, he thought this was impossible. 하나님 어떤 일을 하시려고 했냐면. But what did God want to do to him? 아브라함이 먼저 아들 낳기 전에. Before Abraham has the child. 아브라함의 마음에. First in Abraham's heart. 내가 불가능하다고 여기는 이것이 하나님 앞에 가능하다는. 그 마음을 넣는 일을 했어. This which looks impossible to man, that this is possible with God. God wanted to give that heart to Abraham first. 여러분 저는 제가 저도 하나님께서 아브라함에게 하신 것처럼 저에게도 그런 일을 참 많이 하셨어. And just as God did to Abraham, God did that very often to me as well. 제가 1999년도에 심장에서 심장이 아파 굉장히 어려웠는데. In 1999, I had great difficulty because my heart was very ill. 그때 99년도 제가 하나님 오늘 심장이 깨끗하게 나왔어. At the time in 1999, by the grace of God, my heart was completely healed. 1999년 5월 때쯤 페루 리마 실내 체육관에 집회를 했어. In May of 99, I was in Lima, Peru, holding a grand conference at a stadium. 제가 단에 올라서서 이제 말씀 전에 사회자가 사회를 하고 있는데. And so I was waiting in the back to preach, and then the MC was MCing. 심장이 얼마나 거치게 뛰는지. My heart was pounding so roughly. 심장이 멎을 것 같이 느껴졌어. It felt like my heart was gonna stop. 앉아 있을 수가 없었어. I couldn't just sit there. 난 뒤로 내려갔습니다. And so I exited through the back. 아래 내 지하실에 가니까 선수 대기실이 있어. And in the basement there was the athletes waiting area. 선수 대기실에서 
And in the locker room, I lay down on the bench and waited in pain for a long while. In 99, the Lima uh, Peru Stadium, I could never forget it. I don't know exactly how I got through it. After the sermon, all I could do was lie down. And then again, I returned to Korea. At that time on our building, we were applying stones to our building in Daejeon. And so we're putting on stones, so the brothers were working on the seventh floor. I couldn't look at them. Because it would make my heart pound. And my heart pounded so much I couldn't look up. At that time I thought, oh, at most I'm going to live one more year. Because my heart's beat was so irregular. And oftentimes my heart would stop beating as well. And so I thought well, that that was when I died. August of 1999. I was having the summer retreat at the Songho Pine Field. And that I was sleeping in the tent and I thought, in the, during the day I did so many things. And I thought about how long I walked. I walked about five kilometers. And something I could not even imagine. Oh, how did I get through all this without any problems in my heart today? I got to have the faith. God healed my heart. And the next morning, I woke up early in the morning. And then I began to walk on the road, run on the road. And every day my heart improved, got better and better. My heart got better, my stomach got better. My lungs got better. And from that day on, I began jogging every morning. And the last 13 years have been the most healthiest years of my whole life. In the last two weeks, I traveled 6,000 kilometers in Korea in my car. I could see in the life that I live, God gives me amazing strength. Before, when I would fly from LA to Seoul, I would be exhausted. To fly from Paraguay to Seoul, it's a 30 hour flight. But I wasn't tired at all. But, Pastor, you travel so long on the airplanes, aren't you tired? Tired riding on a plane? I don't get that. You're not laboring. I'm just lying there sleeping. And have some coke. And watch the videos. And I'm just sitting there. Why would I be tired? And I saw how God works. And God wanted to do something even more amazing than this. Everyone, God sent Jesus to this earth. And Jesus was crucified for our sins. And he resurrected. And he ascended. And the work that God did through Jesus, He wants to do through us. At the time when Jesus was on this earth, Jesus lived according to the will of God. And now there's the will and the providence of God to us individuals. But our thoughts and God's thoughts are different. And God wanted to have descendants through Abraham. And through those descendants, have many descendants like the stars of the sky, sands of the sea. And within those descendants, he wanted to fulfill the precious work of having Jesus born there. And so God spoke to Abraham. Your wife Sarah will have a son. 
하나님의 마음을 심는 일을 하시. And so God was working to plant His heart inside of the heart of Abraham. 아브라함은 자기 생각은 맞는데. And Abraham had his own thoughts. 하나님 말씀은 자기에게 맞지 않습니다. And but the word of God did not fit his heart. 하나 아브라함이 웃었습니다. So Abraham laughed. 백세된 사람 어떻게 자식을 낳아? How could a hundred year old have a child? 사라는 구십세인데. And Sarah is ninety. 말도 안 돼. That's nonsense. 아브라함 이제 그렇게 하나님하고 다른 마음에. And so Abraham had this kind of a heart, which was different from the heart of God. And so in the heart of Abraham, God wanted to put His heart inside of the heart of Abraham. Through you, I will give you many children like the stars of the sky. Yes, we will be born. And Jesus Christ be born. And that all people will be blessed through you. And God showed that will to Abraham. Abraham, I, I'm too old. Abraham thought, Oh, my wife is too old. How can my wife have a baby? Abraham's heart and God's heart were different. And God continually planted His heart in Abraham. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Your wife Sarah will have a son. And you will call his name Isaac. And right then, Abraham's heart began to change. That's right. If God wants to, He can give us a son. That heart came to Abraham's heart. And that heart and God's heart became one. 이제 아브라함 전쟁까지 자기 형편을 쳐다보던 아브라함이 a while ago Abraham was only looking at the circumstances. 이제 내가 늙으면 어때? Now he says, so what if I'm old? 내가 백 살이면 또천 살이면 어때? So what if I'm a hundred? So what if I'm a thousand? 하나님이 일하신다면 할수 있어. If God works, this can be done. 자기 생각을 넘어서. He went beyond his thoughts. 자기 생각 맞지 않지만, although it didn't fit his thoughts, 하나님을 믿는 믿음을 He was able to have the faith to believe in God. That's why today in Romans chapter 4 verse 19. 그가 백세나 되어 자기 몸의 중압함과 사라의 대중압함을 알고도 믿음이 약하여지지 아니하고. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. 믿음이 없어 하나님 약속을 의심치 않고. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He became a man of faith, not only believed in the possible things, but believed in impossible things. From then on, God gave strength to to Abraham to Sarah so that they can have Isaac. 이제 하나님의 아브라함에게 하셨던 것처럼. And just as God did to Abraham. 오늘 이 자리 모인 여러분. Today, to you who are sitting here. 저들에게서 방송을 듣는 여러분들 속에. Instead of you who are listening to this broadcast. 이 일을 하시려고 하십니다. This is the work that God will do. 내가 볼때 불가능하지만. It looks impossible to me. 내가 볼때 말도 안 되지만. Although it looks nonsense to me. 내가 볼때될 일이 아니지만. Although it looks like it's not going to work to me. 하나님은 아실 수 있어. God can do it. 그런 마음을 가지고. With that kind of a heart. 그런 하나님과 마음을 같이 해서. We unite your heart today with God. 여러분의 마음이 일어나게 되기를 바라는 것이. And I hope that this heart will arise in you. Don't look at yourself who is weak and lacking. 내게는 하나님이 함께 계셔. But God is with me. 나는 모자라. I am lacking. 난 부족해. I am short. 그러나 하나님이 역사하시면. But if God works, 내가 얼마든지 할수 있어. I can more than able to do it. 그럼 믿음을 하나님 여러분 마음속 일으키는. God is working to stir this faith up inside of you. Before, even though we read the word of God, in my eyes, ah, this looks impossible. Then we wouldn't do it. Abraham do it. And that's how Abraham also was. Abraham was at the stage to go beyond his limits. But now Abraham was at the stage to go beyond his limits. Ja, ja, I saw that my body was weak. 사라의 대충 같은 걸 알았지만 아브라함은 그러나 하나님은 하시라 하고 자기 자신을 믿지 않고 자기 알고는 지식과 상관없이 하나님 믿는 믿음을 가졌습니다. 
in my eyes it looks impossible. In my eyes, my wife's womb is dead. But if God does it, he can do it. He didn't believe on his own knowledge, on his experience, but he believed that God, he could do it. You who are now facing 2013. Why did God give us 2013? Did he give it to us for us to make a lot of money and raise your kids and live a good life? Did God give us 2013 for us to live more comfortably and just live happily ever after? Not so. To all of you is the plan and the will of God. Now on this earth through you, God wants to do his amazing work in 2013. God is not human like us. Although it's impossible to human. God is more than able. Now, not the work that we can do, but God wants to do the things that only He can do. And that's why in 2013 we must change our hearts. Not doing only the things we can do. Yeah. Yes, God, if you work, I will cover the whole world with the gospel. I too, every day, will have the works of salvation. I believe that you will give me this kind of work of the Holy Spirit to me as well. And for God to work inside of you, he stirs up this kind of heart inside of you. Abraham met God at the age of 75. But to the age of 99, Abraham remained in his own thoughts. And God was unable to work. But when he turned 99, Abraham went beyond his limits. That's right, if God works upon me, for me, who is old, God will give me a son. He was able to have that heart. From then on, God began to work. And that's what the Bible is telling us. And that's what we also think. Although I lack, although I have no money, although I'm weak, if God works inside of me, I will cover America with the gospel. I will preach the gospel all over the world. I will quit living that life I live for myself. Now, 2013, I will live as a person of God. I will live for the gospel of God. I will live serving God. And I will glorify you, Father God. Having that heart of faith. And your heart and God's heart is becoming one. Abraham said. Abraham said. Even though Abraham knew that he was a hundred years old and that his wife was the deadness of his wife's womb, knowing that you're weak, knowing that you're lack, even though you know that you're poor, not being bound to yourself, but being held by the hand of God, and uniting your heart with the heart of God, just as God worked through Abraham, I hope that he will work through us as well. To the age of 99, God couldn't work through Abraham. But at the 99, he had this heart. He was able to work with power. Until 2012, with our thoughts. But in 2013, going beyond our limits and our knowledge. And believe in God. And unite your heart with God. And receive the precious grace of having God work in you. All of you who are gathered here. And our brothers and sisters all over the world watching this broadcast. From 2013. We are not humans anymore. 
도구입니다. We are tools of God. 하나님 우리를 들어 일하시면 God will lift us up and use us. 우리 같은 미련한 인간도 even foolish people like us. 하나님 손에 잡히면 if held by the hand of God, 능력의 일을 하겠어. We can do powerful things. 아무래 하나님 아브라함 주신 그 마음을 주어서 and God gave Abraham this heart. 우리 형편을 보지 아니하고 so that we may not look at the circumstances. 하나님 믿는 믿음으로 일하겠습니다. And I will work with the faith to believe in you, God. 그런 여러분 모두가 되길 바라고. I hope that all of you will become so. 2013년 하나님이 가장 기뻐하시는 한 해가 되기를 바랍니다. In 2013, I hope will be the year that God rejoices the most. 우리 모두 하나님을 섬기십시오. May all of us serve God. 감사합니다. Thank you.